Welcome to the 18th lecture on digital simulation. In this video, we will discuss second order backward difference formula to numerically solve a differential equation. So this method comes under the class of linear multi-step methods. So let us first see the general equation for a linear multi-step method. So we have the equation uh, dx by dt is equal to f of t comma x. This is the differential equation that we have to solve. Uh, let us define a notation. So uh, we will use the notation f l to denote f of t l comma x l. If we write f n means it is f of t n comma x n. So that is a notation that we will use. So the general form of a k-step linear multi-step method is given by this expression. So so far we have seen forward Euler method, backward Euler method, trapezoidal method, etc. So the Mm, methods are these methods are single step methods we will need only one initial condition to get the next point we, we will use y0 to get y1 or x0 in this case the variable is x so let me write x0 we will use the initial condition x0 to get x1 then using x1 we will get x2 we will calculate x2 like that so these are one step methods but in a multi-step methods, we will use more than one initial conditions, more than one previous values. So the general form of a k-step linear multi-step method is given by this sigma j varying from 0 to k, where k is the step. If it is a two-step method, k will be 2. So j varying from 0 to k, alpha j multiplied by xn minus j. Alpha j, this is a scalar, alpha is a scalar. This right hand side is step size h multiplied by summation j varying from 0 to k beta j into fn minus j. Beta j is again a scalar and fn minus j we have seen already this notation. fn minus j is nothing but f of tn minus j comma xn minus j. So this is the general expression for a linear multi k step linear multi step method. So I have rewritten this equation here. There are two conditions. Alpha 0 cannot be equal to 0. And uh, the sum of alpha magnitudes of alpha k and beta k should not be equal to 0. And in this uh, general expression, if beta 0 is 0, then the method is explicit. Explicit means uh, we can write an explicit expression for say xn in terms of the previous values. But if the, if the value of beta 0 is non-zero, then we will, uh, the method will have xn on the RHS also. Because in the case of uh, beta 0 not equal to 0, this beta 0 into fn will be appearing in this summation. So in, inside fn there is tn comma xn. So xn will appear on both the left hand side and right hand side so the method will become implicit we have discussed this before explicit method and implicit method okay so the linear multi-step methods are broadly classified into two family of methods one is adams family second one is backward differentiation formula family so this adams uh, family of methods are usually used for solving non-stiff equations whereas this bdf Acquired differentiation formula methods are used for stiff problems. We will see what are uh, non-stiff problems and uh, what is a stiff problem that we will see in the next video. Okay, coming to our uh, syllabus, we need to study backward differentiation formula. Okay, this is differentiation formula of second order. So this is usually denoted as BDF2 uh, or it is also known as gear formula. So this is the expression for backward differentiation formula. So the left hand side is uh, same as that of a uh, linear multi-step method. Sigma j equal to 0, alpha j, xn minus j. But on the right hand side, this uh, there is a change and there is no summation. Only one term is there, h into beta 0 fn. So here uh, alpha 0 is usually taken as 1 okay for scaling purpose so this is the general expression so this will be clear when we see a particular example so you can uh, have this uh, step varying from 1 2 3 uh, can take different values so based on the value of k 
the we have different coefficients and the coefficient values are given in this table so we are interested in this uh, second order method so in the second order method beta 0 value is 2 by 3 alpha 0 is 1 alpha 1 is minus 4 by 3 alpha 2 is 1 by 3 since the proof is not required in the syllabus i am not uh, discussing that so we need to uh, know only the final equation so the final equation i will write here so we know for second order backward differentiation formula beta 0 is 2 by 3 alpha 0 is 1 alpha 1 is minus 4 by 3 alpha 2 is 1 by 3 this is from this table okay so this table uh, is available in standard textbooks okay so j uh, in the general expression we will put k equal to 2 for the second order method k equal to 2 and if you substitute k equal to 2 you will get this equation alpha 0 xn plus alpha 1 xn minus 1 alpha plus alpha 2 xn minus 2 is equal to h into beta 0 into f of tn comma xn here the values of alpha 0 alpha 1 and alpha 2 and beta 0 can be plugged in from the table so if you substitute that you will get this equation okay so i have rewritten it here so this is the final expression xn is equal to 2 by 3 into h multiplied by f of tn comma xn plus 4 by 3 into xn minus 1 minus 1 by 3 into xn minus 2 is it an explicit method or implicit method so you can see here both on the lhs and rhs xn is appearing so xn uh, this is the expression to evaluate xn but on the rhs also xn is appearing so it is an implicit method okay this is an implicit method and you see you can see that you need uh, two values two previous values to calculate xn so for a k step method we need k initial uh, values so this is a two step method so second order, order method so we need two values so i will give an example so suppose we have to solve this differential equation dv by dt or y prime y prime is dv by dt equal to minus 5t y square plus 5 by t minus 1 by t square with the initial condition y of 1 equal to 1 okay this is the initial condition y0 is 1 initial value is 1 so suppose we have to solve this formula uh, this differential equation then uh, the second order backward difference formula gives this expression yn is equal to 2 by 3 into h into function evaluated at tn yn plus 4 by 3 into yn minus 1 minus 1 by 3 into yn minus 2 so if I, for n equal to 2 for second order method uh, this is the expression y2 is equal to 2 by 3 h into f of t2 comma y2 plus 4 by 3 into y1 minus 1 by 3 y0 so y1 and y0 are needed to solve this so two previous values are needed but only y0 is available from the question so y1 you can evaluate using some other method say backward Euler method or Nankakuta method or uh, trapezoidal method using any other method you evaluate y1 then using that y0 and y1 you can uh, rewrite this equation so here i have substituted the value of f of tn comma xn here uh, sorry f of tn comma yn i have substituted since f is nothing but the right hand side of the previous equation i have substituted that so this equation will become like this so here y1 and y0 you can uh, substitute uh, from the y0 is available from the question y1 you can calculate using backward euler method so y1 and y0 are available so here both on the rhs and lhs y2 is appearing so y2 is unknown so you will you have to solve a nonlinear equation in y2 using a, a method um, any numerical technique then you will get y2 then you using y2 and y1 you can compute y3 using the second order backward difference formula like that it will continue okay so this is about a backward difference formula of the second order or gear formula thank you